Sunshine Yoga. For today's class, we will be warming up the entire body, doing some gentle twisting through the spine, and at the end of class, some gentle releasing of the spine as well. Uh, for this class, you don't necessarily need any prompts. If you like, you can have a few yoga blocks or some books for part of the class. Uh, if you'd like a little bit more height um, and obviously if it's a bit cold where you are then a blanket for the end of class of Shavasana otherwise just find yourself a spot where you are and we can get started. So we'll start uh, by doing some standing postures and we'll warm up by doing Sura, uh, Sura Namaskar, our sun salutations uh, and then we'll start into some gentle twisting through the spine. So joining me on the mat, standing at the top of your mat. And with your feet, I'll just turn to face you. You can either have the feet together, big toes touching, heels touching, or if you prefer having your feet spaced out one fist width apart, or you can have them a little bit further apart, hips width apart. Totally up to you, whatever feels most comfortable for you. So nice and simple, growing tall through the legs, rolling the shoulders back and down. As we inhale, extending your arms up over here to either shoulder width apart or bringing the palms of the hands together. Inhaling here at the top, and as we exhale, bringing the arms down, bending through the hips, lowering down, releasing the torso over top of the thighs. Exhaling. One breath here, inhaling. And exhaling. And as we're inhaling, rolling up. Drawing the arms up over head, arms alongside the head or palms together. Take one breath here, inhaling and exhaling, inhaling and exhaling, hinging from the hips, releasing down. Taking a breath here in your own time. And inhaling, rising up. Taking one breath here. Inhaling again. And exhaling, folding forward, placing the hands wherever they land so they can be on top of the feet, on top of the shins, on top of the thighs, or they can be down on the mat themselves, wherever is most comfortable for you. Inhaling, rising up. And exhaling. One more time, inhaling. Exhaling, folding forward, taking a breath here at the bottom, inhaling and exhaling, inhaling, rising up and exhaling this time, hands to the heart centre, palms together. If you're not already standing at the top of your mat, this time as you inhale, bring the arms alongside the head. Again, either shoulder width apart or palms together. Exhaling, folding forward. This time as we inhale, flattening the back, lifting the head, lifting the chest up, keeping the legs straight. 
And as we exhale, stepping, jumping, or floating back to a plank. If this is too strong for you, you can bring the knees down. Or when you're up into plank, just bending through the elbows and gently releasing the body down to the mat. Inhaling, coming up to cobra at whichever height you feel comfortable. So whether it's low, mid, or high. And exhaling up and back to downward facing dog. We'll take five breaths here. So if the hamstrings are a bit tight, do have a soft bend in the knees and the heels up off the floor if the hamstrings are tight. Mm -hmm. The important thing in this position is a nice straight spine. Pressing that torso back between the arms. Pressing down through the hands, pressing down through the feet. And take one more breath here. And then stepping, floating or jumping up the feet to meet the hands. Inhaling, lifting the head, straightening the spine. Exhaling, folding forward, releasing the torso over top of those legs and inhaling, rising up. Exhale, hands to heart center. All right, in your own time, inhaling, arms coming up. Exhaling, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back. Bending through the elbows, releasing the torso down, inhaling, up to cobra, exhaling, up and back, downward facing dog, five breaths here. One more breath. Inhaling, jumping, floating, or stepping forward. Lifting the head, exhaling, folding forward. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart. All right, one more round in your own time. Five breaths here and down and facing dog. One more breath. Inhaling. Exhaling, inhaling, rising up. Exhale, hands to heart. Taking a moment here to feel into the heat that you've created with this sun salutation. Right, one more breath. Inhaling, bring the arms up alongside the head. Exhaling, folding forward, lifting the torso over the sides. And this time, we're stepping the right foot back, coming up into a high lunge and lowering that right knee back down towards the mat. Walking the left foot into centre between the hands. Now here is where you might like to have a block or two. 
you can create a little bit more height. The more height you have, the more open you can get through the chest and the shoulders. So feel free to put them on whichever sitting you like, on the lowest, on the medium, or on the highest. If your hips are a bit tight, I suggest putting them on the highest, and that way you could really soften into opening these hips here. So if they are a bit tight or you'd like to explore some movement, feel free to do that now. So just releasing the hips back towards the back of the mat, straightening through that left leg, and then gently coming forward, pressing the hips forwards toward the front of the mat. Just gently moving through this movement here, being aware of how your body's feeling today. Maybe there's a little sticky spot through the front of the hips here, very common if you sit for an occupation, which a lot of us do. So just a few more forward and back like this, warming up through the hips, warming up through the leg muscles as well. And then once you come back to the front, pausing here for a moment, maybe walking the blocks back a little bit. If you don't have any blocks, but you would like to explore some height, you can also bring the hands up on top of the knee and start bringing those shoulders back over the hips. Holding here for a few breaths. All right, one more breath here. And Gently, very slowly releasing out of that deep lunge, drawing the hips back towards the back of the mat. Nice and slow. Keep going until you start extending that left leg. And you can either keep the foot flat on the floor, you can start to lift those toes up. Just exploring what feels good for you. Also getting a little bit of a stretch into the calf muscle too. You might find a bit of a stretch in the lower back as well, which is always nice. All right, bringing those hips forward again, laying that left foot flat down to the mat. And now walking that left foot out towards the left edge of the mat. You can bring the blocks into the center here, or you can just bring the hands down onto the mat. And adjusting that right knee if you need, so if it feels a bit strange, what we can do is you can just lift that knee up off the mat and then place it back down to get that kneecap in the right position. All right, placing the left hand up onto the left knee, right hand can be down on the floor or on the block. And we'll just gently twist towards the left leg. Gently twisting, sinking down through the hips as well. Taking a few breaths here. If the neck is okay and uh, if you're open enough, you can start looking back towards the back of the room, looking over that left shoulder. One more breath. 
and gently coming out of that twist, releasing the left hand down to the blocks, slowly releasing those hips back to the back of the room like we did before, extending through that left leg, getting a nice stretch through that left leg, and then to the lower back. Coming forward again. Now you can either stay here with the hands in the center of the mat, the left foot still on the outer edge, and you can just stay here and gently let the weight of your body release down through both of those hips. Or if you're a little bit more flexible or would like a more intense stretch, you can start coming down onto the forearms or just bending through the elbows, which is most successful for you. Again, you can use the blocks or have the elbows down on the mat themselves. One more breath. And wherever you are, pressing the body back up and again, gently releasing those hips back towards the back of the room. And bringing that left foot back to meet the right. Coming into a tabletop position, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Wiggle the hips left and right a bit. Just releasing any tension that's sitting there. All right, now exploring the other side. So we'll bring the right foot forward to bring it into the center of the mat, hands on either side, lifting the kneecap of the left leg and releasing that back down. Make sure that kneecap is in a comfortable place. If it's a little too much for you to have the knees straight on the floor, then you can place um, a cushion or um, a jersey or anything like that that can pad it or you can roll up the mat and pop uh, the roll up mat under the knee as well. So if you have blocks, you can place the hands up onto the blocks on either side of the foot and choose what level that you'd like. And again, just warming up into this hip. So a bit of movement forward and back, bring those hips forward and back. Just a few more times, really warming those hips up. All right, settling in here. Again, if you don't have the blocks, you can bring the hands up onto the knees and bring the shoulders up above the hips. Take a few breaths here. Really let the body sink down into the stretch, into this low lunge.
One more breath. And very slowly releasing those hips back towards the back of the room, stretching through that uh, right leg into the calf muscle, a little bit into the hamstring perhaps, maybe into the lower back. And you can always lift the toes up to that leg too, if that feels more comfortable. All right, bringing the hips forward again, releasing those blocks, and walking that right foot out towards the right edge of the mat. Bring the blocks into the center. And placing the right hand on top of the right knee. Left hand down on the mat or onto the block. And we're just gently twisting towards that right leg. And if the neck is okay, or if you would like a stronger stretch, you can start looking over that right shoulder, looking back towards the back of the mat or the back of the room. One more breath here. And very slowly releasing out of the twist. Bring both hands back down towards the block or the mat. And very slowly releasing the hips back. You can find some movement here if it's a bit sticky. Forward and back, forward and back, or you can just release back. Lifting the toes of that right leg if you wish. All right, coming forward again. And then just staying here with the arms um, in the center of the mat or up in the blocks. If you wish, you can start bending through the elbows, bringing the torso down, or bringing the forearms down to the blocks or the mat for a deep stretch here. So just choose whichever you prefer. And also to remember that you know each side is different, so you might not be even on both sides. You might be a little looser on side, one side, a little tighter on one side. So just also listening to your body, giving it what it needs, and being kind to your body as well. One more breath here. And coming up, straightening the arms again and releasing those hips back towards the back of the mat, back of the room. Maybe give them another little wiggle, those hips, depending on how tight they are. Maybe there's a few sticky spots on this side. All right, bringing that right leg back to meet the left. Coming to a tabletop position here. Letting the hips wiggle from side to side.
All right, stand in the tabletop position. So we want our hands underneath our shoulders, knees underneath the hips, bringing the left hand to center with the right arm as we inhale, lifting the right arm straight up, fingertips up towards the ceiling. And as we exhale, threading that right arm underneath the left, we're gonna come onto the right shoulder and the right ear. Inhaling, coming up. Exhaling, threading that arm down and through. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, releasing down again. Inhale, coming up for the last time. And then placing that right hand back down towards the mat. Bring the right hand into the center this time. As we inhale with the left this time, reaching up to your left fingertips, pointing up towards the ceiling. And as we exhale, threading that left arm through underneath the right, coming down onto the left shoulder, left ear. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale once more, and exhale. Inhaling, and then dropping the left arm down. All right, bringing big toes together, knees coming out wide, walking the hands forward and releasing both hips back towards the heels, coming down into extended heroes. Reaching those arms away, getting a nice stretch through the armpits and the shoulders, pushing those hips down towards the mat. One more breath here. Inhaling, lifting the head. Pressing down through the hands, lifting the hips up. And walking the hands together. Coming down onto the elbows, keeping the hips raised and up above the knees. Bring the inside of the Forearms together, pinkies together, bringing the palms and the hands together, walking the forearms slightly forward, and we're going to bring our head down toward the forearms and slightly pressing backwards. So, really getting into the shoulders this time. If you wish, you can lift the forearms up um, so that the hands are placed on the back of the head. One more breath, wherever you are. 
And if the hands are on top of the head, releasing the forearms down towards the mat. Forearms are down on the mat. Just gently bring yourself forward again so that the shoulders are over the elbows. Placing the hands down on the mat and lifting yourself back up to tabletop position. All right, belly down onto the floor. Bring the elbows underneath the shoulders, forearms down onto the mat. And lifting the chest up off the mat, but keeping the torso down or the ribs and the belly button down to the mat. Opening up through the chest, rolling those shoulders back and down, squeezing the shoulder blades together. And just finding a spot either just in front of you on the mat or looking straight forward towards a wall. Gently opening up through the spine here, creating some ease into the back. One more breath here. And then slowly releasing through the elbow, rolling the chest down, bring the head down towards the mat and turning the head to one side just for a moment. One more breath here. And when you're ready, rolling over onto your back. Bring the arms alongside the torso. Bring the feet up towards the bottom. Feet can be hip heart and knees hip apart. Tucking the chin into the chest ever so slightly and extending the back of the neck along the mat. When you're ready, pressing down through the hands, pressing down through the feet. And as we inhale, lifting the hips up towards the ceiling, coming up into the bridge position. Squeezing the bottom together ever so gently. Taking a few breaths here. One more breath. And slowly releasing the spine back down, vertebra by vertebra, until the bottom touches the floor. Pausing here for a moment. Pressing down through the hands, pressing down through the feet and lifting the hips up again. If you wish this time, you can bring both hands underneath the bottom into less fingers and gently walk the arms and the shoulders in underneath you. This will lift the chest up a bit higher. And as you press down through the arms and the hands, you can press up even further, bringing the chest and the chin closer together. Taking a few breaths here. You can always stay with option one, just pressing the hands, arms and hands and feet down into the mat. One more breath, releasing the hands and gently rolling the spine back down. All right, so we'll do this one more time and you can stay with option one, hands, palms down onto the mat. 
Option two is the interlacing fingers and pushing arms down. And, and when we go up, I'll give you option three, if you'd like a bit more strong practice. So taking one breath to prepare. Inhaling, pushing down through the hands and the feet, lifting the hips up to the ceiling. Option one, option two, interlacing fingers, rolling the shoulders underneath. Option three is bringing palms the hands up into the lower back, so being through the elbows, pressing the hands into the lower back, lower back into the hands. This is lifting you up even more, really pressing the chest towards the chin, chin towards the chest, and really tuck that chin into um, the chest as to not uh, put too much pressure on the neck. So in this position, you're really bringing the weight of your shoulder, of the body over top of your shoulders. Really rolling the shoulders back and down, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Keep lifting up through the hips, up through the pelvis, pressing down through the legs. You want to be lifting up and out of that waist. Wherever you are, one more breath. And releasing the hands. Palms face down and gently rolling that spine back down, vertebra by vertebra. When the bottom touches the floor, you can release the legs, release the arms. Pause here for a moment, let the arms and the legs roll away. Give the legs and the arms a little shake, get the knees. Right, bring the arms alongside the body again, bending through both knees again. This time, bending through the uh, right leg, bring the right knee into the chest, rotating through the lower leg, bring that right foot across to lie on top of the left thigh. Now you can either stay here or you can reach your hands through the weak hole, around to the back of the left hamstring. So pressing the right foot into the left thigh, left thigh into the right foot. Opening up through the right knee, pressing that down and away. The body should be relaxed. All right, one more breath. Releasing the hands away from the left leg. Crossing the right leg across so that uh, one knee is on top of the other and gently pressing both of those knees in towards the chest. You can bring your hands up onto the left knee. One more breath here. Releasing the hands from around the knee, bring the arms out to um, shoulder height, arms face down, and drawing both of those knees across the body to the left, and releasing the knees down towards the floor, so coming into a spinal twist here. 
Now you can stay looking up towards the ceiling, or if the neck is okay, you can turn the head to the right, look along the right arm. One more breath here. Turning the head back to center. And when we inhale, lifting both those knees back up to center and crossing the legs, bring both feet back down towards the mat and arms alongside the body. All right, crossing the left leg across the right. So the ankle of the left foot lying on top of the right thigh, knee pressing outwards towards the left and down, lifting the right leg up, bring the legs towards the chest, reach the arms down and place the arms and the hands behind the right thigh, pressing the left foot into the right thigh, right thigh into the left foot. Create a little bit of dynamic tension here. One more breath here. Releasing the hands away from the thigh. Crossing the left foot over top of the right. Stacking those knees. Drawing both knees in towards the chest. And you can bring the hands around the knees. Create a little bit more compression. One more breath here. Releasing the hands away from the knees, opening the arms up, bringing the palms face down, arms to shoulder height. And bring both of those knees across the body to the right, releasing the knees down towards the floor. And either keeping the face and the eyes looking up for the ceiling, or if the neck is okay, turning the head, looking along the left arm, drawing that left arm back and down. One more breath. Turning the head back to center. And as we inhale, drawing both knees back to center, releasing the legs. 
keeping the feet flat on the floor, drawing the feet and the knees together now, bending through the elbows, bringing the hands up and placing the fingertips on the back of the neck, but not um, bringing the fingers together, so just gently resting on the back of the neck. This time doing some gentle twisting again, but this time as we inhale, inhaling to center, and as we exhale, dropping both knees to the left and turning head to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, both knees to the right, head turning to the left. In your own time, inhaling and exhaling. All right, once more to each side in your own time. Going back to the center, dropping the feet down, releasing fingertips away from the back of the neck. Extending the left leg long, drawing the right knee up into the chest, squeezing the right knee into the chest, squeezing it into the hip. Taking a few breaths here. One more breath. And releasing that right leg long. Bending through the left knee, drawing the left knee into the chest. Squeezing that left knee into the torso and the hip. One more breath. Extending the left leg long. Now bending through both knees, drawing both knees in towards the chest, squeezing both knees in towards the torso, inhaling. And as we exhale, lifting the head, lifting the chin up, squeezing the knees in. How close can you get the knees and the chin together? And very gently and slowly, releasing the head, releasing the shoulders back down. Letting the feet come down towards the mat. Extending the legs away, allowing the legs to roll away from the body, allowing the arms to roll away, palms face up, lifting the chin up onto the chest, making sure the spine and the body is nice and straight, and exhaling, extending the back of the neck along the mat. If you wish to put more clothes on, socks and a jumper, it's cold, do that now. Or place a blanket on top to keep yourself warm. When you're ready, just looking up towards the ceiling, finding a spot on the ceiling to focus on.
and softening your gaze on that spot on the ceiling. And if it feels comfortable, closing the eyes. And coming into the breath now. If it's accessible, breathing in through the nose, back of the throat, down to the lungs. Out of the lungs, back of the throat, out through the nose. Just drawing the mind into the breath. If mind begins to wander, just bring your mind straight back to the breath, in through the nose, back of the throat, down to the lungs, into the diaphragm, expanding the abdomen, expanding the ribs outwards. Exhaling, ribs coming in, abdomen coming in, diaphragm coming in, out of the lungs, back of the throat, out through the nose. Now with gentle awareness, bring your mind to the sounds that you can hear outside the room. Without attaching any thoughts to those sounds, just allowing your mind to move from sound to sound. What is the farthest thing that you can hear in the distance?
Now bring your mind to any sounds inside of the room. With gentle awareness, just allowing your mind to move from sound to sound without attaching any thoughts or identification to those sounds. Now bring your mind to the sound of your own breath in your body. Inhaling and exhaling. Now bring your mind, have a vision of yourself from a bird's eye view. See the shape of your body lying on the mat or the floor. See the color of the clothes they're wearing. Feel the texture and the weight of the clothes on the skin. Now I'm noticing the air on the exposed skin. Is it warm or is it cool? Now picturing the shape of the room that you're in and where you're lying within the room. Remember the time of day that you're practicing.
Now slowly bring some movement in, wriggling the fingers and the toes. Maybe rolling the feet from side to side very gently. Now taking three deep breaths in your own time, inhaling. And exhaling with a sigh. <sighs> inhaling. <sighs> Once more, inhaling. <sighs> Now keeping your eyes closed, rolling over onto one side. Pausing on that side for a moment. And keeping the eyes closed, just gently pushing yourself up to the seated position. If you like grabbing a cushion or sitting on a blanket, you can use some more height. Once you become comfortable, placing your hands on top of your knees, rolling the shoulders back and down, growing towards the spine, through the neck, lifting up out of the waist. And just noticing the breath. without forcing the breath, 
just making a note of how long it takes you to do one inhale and one exhale. So just counting one Mississippi, two Mississippi, etc. Or the breath count. Now that you've done a few rounds of breath, just noticing uh, inhales, exhales, different breath counts, or the count is different from round to round. And uh, just taking the average breath count, and now without forcing the breath, just attempting to get the inhale and the exhale the same breath count for each round, so every round of the same count. If you already have a comfortable breathing count, then you can go straight into that. Now, if this equal breathing comes too strained or you feel like you're not getting enough oxygen, then do feel free to either drop the breath count down by one count or just return back to your natural spontaneous breathing. If you're comfortable and happy to continue with the equal breathing, then you can stay doing the equal breathing. Or if you'd like to extend the breath a little further, then just add one count to your current breathing count. All right, now I'm just completing the final round of breath and just allowing the breathing to return to its natural spontaneous. 
connection. So no longer counting. But still observing the breath. Again, noticing how the breath is feeling now. Should have some more length. Yeah. The breathing should be deeper or down into the belly. Also noticing how the body is feeling now compared to getting a class. And also how your mind is feeling now compared to getting a class. To close the practice, we will chant three arms. So take one breath to prepare, inhaling. And exhaling. Inhaling for all. Uh -huh. of the eyes, peering into the palms of the hands, allowing the eyes to adjust to the light, placing the palms together again, rubbing the palms of the hands, back to the hands, fingers and thumbs, wrists, forearms. Placing the hands back into the heart center again, palms together. Hare Om Tatsat. Thank you for joining me for class today. Hope you're feeling good. Um, and thank you for supporting me this year with these online classes, either here on YouTube or on Patreon. 